Okay, so today we are going to take a look at not really the keyboard itself, but I've always been curious about how we can make a keyboard um, sound the most silent possible. Let's say you have a favorite switch that you have, but one day you decided, hey, I want to use this at work, but how are you going to make it silent without having to sacrifice the typing experience by switching to a silent switch. So we want to keep the same typing fill using the same switch, but what do we do? Today, I have this nimble back. This is one of the um, nicer like pre-made keyboard that, that I've like experienced. Um, it's pretty solidly built and pretty relatively cheap, around 70 bucks usually. Um, when it's on sale, probably around 60, 65. And um, I'm gonna use uh, tape, painter's tape, and uh, kill mat. Um, previously, this is often used to um, by other YouTubers to kind of reduce pinging noise. But today, I'm gonna try see if I can use this to kind of make a board more silent, and we'll, we'll see what we can do. All right. Before that, we're gonna do a typing test first, so we can get a feel of the sound beforehand. Okay. So I've unboxed the keyboard. If you can see, it's pretty general. Um, looks like a plain white keyboard. There's a little logo over here, nimble back. But so basically, let's see. This is linear switch. There's no bump. See, the stabilizers are already well tuned. You don't you don't hear rattle. The only thing we hear is the vibration sound from like the PCB board, um, from the plate. And then, but see the plastic itself though, it's, you don't have any like cheap plastic fill. This is a solid plastic. Yeah, no, no flex at all. Just well made. So what my idea is, instead of the regular tape mod that people do to make a board sound maybe deeper, like a maybe poppy sound, I'm the reason I'm using the tape is not meant to actually use the tape, but I don't want to do a permanent install of the of the kill mat, right? Of this onto the PCB. So my plan is to put this under the PCB and then put the kill mat under the PCB. That way we're gonna get rid of the sound go traveling downwards, okay? And then if that's not enough, um, I'm gonna put another layer of kill mat at the bottom of the keyboard, probably slightly curved onto the side, that way it would reduce vibration downwards towards outside, toward the sides of the keyboard. So once we get rid of the bottom sound, then how do we get rid of the upward sound? Um, I haven't figured out yet, but um, probably we can cut thin strips of the kill mat so that it will lay, like let's say like two, two switches, we're gonna lay it like from the wall of the switch casing downwards to the plate and then upwards to the other switch. I'm gonna do it in each of the groups, okay? So it's gonna be a strip here, a strip here, a strip here, and hopefully we can achieve what we are trying to achieve today. But let's go ahead and um, I'm gonna connect the keyboard so I can do a typing sound test. Okay, so we are doing monkey type as usual. Okay, so there is the sound. 
Alright, let's get started. It's pretty simple to open this keyboard. See there are little like tabs in on the inside. So you just put your fingernails through and then through the seam and then just kind of push through the front and then that way you can get it out. Okay. I'm gonna come back when I have everything out. Okay, so the design of this keyboard is pretty sh simple, straightforward. Um, there's only two screws. One over here between seven and number seven and four on the numpad, and another one here right after, right between tab and the Q keycap. Um, while we are at it, and this is a double shot, um, shine through, but you, you see, it's very thin. It's almost like a little bit, just a little bit thicker than this um, keycap puller wire. Right. And the only double shot part is just the top part where the transparent one covers the, the top of the keycap to allow the shine through without having a hole there. Um, so once you op release the two screw, if you look on the back, this is standard. Like these like little ridges that give the, the plastic a little bit more um, stability, durability, so it doesn't bend as much. Um, and then this is just standard, like a little like wire connecting from the USB. This is like the daughter board and the cable connecting to the PCB. Um, just standard um, hot swap sockets. So what we're gonna do here, we're gonna first layer the painter's tape, a layer of um, kill mat, and then do a sound test. And then after that, if it's not enough, we're going to do another layer of the kill mat at the bottom to reduce the vibration traveling downwards. Um, I might add something between the um, the screw hole, between the screw hole and the screw itself. It also helps to prevent vibration traveling from up towards, because any vibration that's going through the screw, luckily there's only two, and then there are like one, two, three, three kind of standoff kind of thing to th these three doesn't come with a screw, but those are to help prevent the PCB from like moving around. And then, um, so if we add something here, like a, I don't have a silicone ring this size, but that will also reduce any vibration. And I am not sure yet how easy it would be to to put kill mat on on the metal plate. This is probably um, steel steel plate, right? But we're gonna try. Okay, so I've taped up the, put on the painter's tape. If you can see here, usually you would remove the wire, but for some reason, this seems to be kind of stuck inside. I, I couldn't remove it. If I try to, it would break. It actually kind of crack part of the plastic at the bottom, plastic connector at the bottom, um, on the right hand side. So I just kind of work around it. So this is with just one layer of tape because we are not actually doing a tape mod, tape mod. Um, but here, this is what tape mod would sound like. A little bit smoother sound, I guess. It's not as sharp as earlier. But what we are trying to do here is make it even more silent, okay? So next, oh, I didn't cover here because this is the um, like a reset button. So we need to we need to avoid that part. And then there are some holes that I punched. These are the same that's gonna match these um, standoff and the the screw holes that we fit. Ooh, I think I missed one here. All right, I'll be back after I install the kill mat. Okay, so as you can see, I already cut out the kill mat. Um, the longest area is not exactly the same width as the keyboard but I don't want to have little pieces I have OCD so I'm just gonna have one piece and see I have a little cutout for the reset button and the, the daughter board cable and then I already punched a hole for the, that that's gonna match these so later the they can pass through and also the screw will be able to go past now I just need to remove the protective layer and then just kind of kind of push it on to form fit the the PCB. See this thing is kind of gooey, a little bit sticky. 
That's why you don't, I didn't want to get it on my hand. And I didn't want it to be directly on the PCB because I don't know if it's going to damage it or not. Hopefully by having this extra layer in between, it won't do the same damage as it would otherwise. I'm just running the screws through just to make sure the holes are aligned before I start pressing down. Okay, so now it's maybe a little bit quieter. I already added the kill mat, press it down. Okay, so it looks like this. But it's still not as quiet as I was hoping. I'm not even sure if we're ever gonna be able to get it down to a silent switch sound, but here it is. So it's already quieter if you compare it to the original and also the tape mode only. So we already tried something for the bottom. Now I'm gonna try cut some thin strips to fit in between on the on the plate at the top and see what we can achieve with the top mod. Okay, so I've removed all the keycaps and now hopefully I can lay down some of the kill mat in between the switches to kind of help dampen the sound coming from the plate because I think this is where most sounds are vibrating from. I wish this plate were made by PC polycarbonate or um, palm, that way it wouldn't be as, as loud. So I added a piece here on the F row, around here between the numpad and the alpha, some on the side. The small ones, they are too hard. These are like a little bit too sticky, so I, I don't want to get gunks all over the, the switches. Um, I think I'm gonna, for the top part, I'm just gonna stop here. And then lastly, probably just add the remaining of this kill mat sheet at the bottom. And we'll go from there and see what we can get out of this. Okay, so since we usually type on the alpha area most of the time, so for the remainder of the scraps, I put it, I lay down mainly on the alpha area. Some extra little pieces, I just put it on the, a little bit over to the numpad side. This keyboard, the inside space is pretty limited, so I had to remove all the top ones that I have installed. Um, but it seems like steep, like, sound is not as sharp as at the beginning however I, I'm guessing maybe the keycap being thin it might also increase the sound so I'm gonna try like a thicker PBT keycap and then see if we can lower the sound pitch a little bit See the difference? This one, PBT one that I bought, it's almost like double, maybe two and a half times as thick as the white one. All right. I don't know how to show it, but yeah, this is at least two and a half to three times as thick. And we'll see how it affects the sound. Okay, so I'm gonna try to wrap it up. The sound is already deeper, not as sharp as originally. It's not gonna be quiet, like silent switch. But we'll see, we'll have a type test after this. Let me finish putting back all the keycaps. I have put it back together. Um, it's not, it's definitely not silent, but we'll do a, the um, typing test right now, monkey type again. And then we can, that way you can compare the after effect, okay?
Gonna do one more time. So as you can see, there's still sound, but you can notice that the sound is deeper sound. Um, so it sounds, it does sound lower pitched, and then thus the volume appears to be lower. But if we put it right next to a board that is made with a silent switch, as in here, as in this Keychron, this will be on the next video. But um, I'm just letting you compare the sound of this compared to this yeah so here you have it there is, I guess, really no way to make a silent keyboard even with the the sound dampening mats like Kill Mat. But what it can offer you is a more solid um, sound um, that is not too high pitch. If you don't like high pitch, um, you can use the Kill Mat. Um, in this case, I just put one layer under the PCB and another layer at the bottom of the case, and it makes the sports more solid it doesn't sound hollow anymore All right i hope you like it